Hi there. In this video, I demonstrate the integration of my recently completed CNC fifth axis into the Mighty Robber operating system, or ROS as it's known. We then add a 3D vision capability. And finally, we perform some object tracking with the fifth axis. The drive behind this project is really just to get a heads up on ROS in preparation for the construction of an industrial robot arm for my home workshop. A brief introduction to the robot operating system might be useful at this point. ROS is a set of software libraries and tools that help build robotics applications. For those who are not familiar with ROS, here are a few concepts that are going to be useful in understanding the contents of this video. At the heart of a robot system is the model of the robot. In ROS, the model is specified in a format known as URDF. In the model, we can specify physical properties of links such as dimensions, mass, collision envelopes, etc. We can also specify joint properties such as joint types and joint limits. Please note also that angular and distance units in ROS are in radians and meters respectively. This next diagram shows the ROS nodes and topics in a 5-axis tracking system. Nodes are similar to operating system processes and are indicated by the oval shapes in the diagram. Each node would normally be responsible for a particular task. For example, the Connect to Bridge node handles image processing from the Connect 3D camera. Then we have topics, which are identified by the rectangular shapes in the diagram. Topics are named buses over which nodes exchange messages. For example, the five axis robot topics convey messages relating to the position of the two joints. Nodes can publish to a topic, subscribe to a topic or both. Messages can convey something as simple as an integer or as complex as a position and pose in 3D space. We then have launch files which are typically used to load up parameters and to invoke nodes. In the example launch file shown here we do the following load up the model of the fifth axis, launch a connect to bridge node to provide image topics from the connect 3D camera, publish dummy joint position information from a GUI as we have not yet hooked up our physical servo motors, publish the robot state to the transform library, that is it takes the joint angles of the A and C axis as inputs and publishes the 3D poses of each link using a kinematics tree derived from the URDF model. I'll speak more on this later. Finally, we launch the excellent 3D visualization tool in ROS called Arviz. So viewing the model in Arviz, we can immediately see details of each link, such as position in 3D space relative to a fixed point. We can also view the axis of each joint. The visual elements of the fifth axis adjust the 5th axis subassembly STLs exported from Fusion 360 together with STLs for the Xbox Connect 3D camera and its support link. We can also view in our viz the topics published by the Connect 2 bridge node. For example, here's a 1920x1080 BGR feed and here's a depth feed in the lower resolution QHD format. Once we're happy with our model, the next task is to integrate the servo motors into ROS. This is straightforward as ROS has a framework called ROS Control that decouples ROS controllers from the actual hardware. The native comms protocol for the Mercury servers used in the fifth axis is the Dynamixel 2.0 protocol. Happily, there's a hardware package called Dynamixel Control HW written by a team here in France that does everything we need. Running the five axis connect launch file launches the real servos. Note the loading of the config YAML files. It's in the 5 axis controlyaml file where we make the link between the physical servo IDs and the joints declared in the model. It also sets a number of ROS control loop parameters such as frequency and timeouts. In this configuration, the servos are being polled and updated every one millisecond. Joint limits are defined in the joint limits YAML file. With the servos live and under the control of the ROS controller, we can view the joint angles and velocities directly from the joint state topic. We can also move the joints. We could create a GUI for this, but it's simple enough at this stage to just send a target position from the command line. 
it's now time to do some object tracking. For this, we're going to track a softball so that the fifth axis keeps the ball in the center of the camera's depth frame. For this, we use the fantastic OpenCV computer vision library, which is a first-class citizen within the ROS environment. In the ball tracking node, we subscribe to two Connect topics. Now for a brief explanation of the ball tracking source code. In the image color topics callback, we convert the image from the BGR to the HSV color space. This makes it easier to separate the colors. We then apply range filters for each of the hue, saturation and value quantities. With carefully chosen filter values, we end up with quite a clean separation of the ball. We then apply the Hof circles function to identify circles in the filtered HSV image. Three different parameters can be specified to fine tune the identification of the circles. When a circle is identified, we record the X and Y coordinates of its center point. In the depth image callback, we use the X and Y coordinates of the circle to calculate the distance or Z value of the ball. We then convert the X and Y coordinates in pixels to distance coordinates relative to the origin of the Connect2 IR optical frame as shown here in the model. We also use some additional OpenCV functions to highlight the ball and to display the X, Y and Z coordinates on the screen. We publish this modified image to a new topic called 5-axis image that we can view in Arvis. We also publish the ball center point to a new topic called ball target point. As a further note, to make it easier in choosing HSV range filter and half circle parameters, I've created a GUI that allows these parameters to be fine tuned. See the tracking GUI repo on GitHub for more details. When the values have been obtained using the GUI, the values should be added to the ball tracking YAML file which is loaded up automatically when the ball tracking node is launched. The final step is to get the fifth axis to track the ball position. So in the five axis tracking node, we subscribe to the ball target point topic. This is the point where we make use of the brilliant transform library mentioned earlier or TF as it's known in ROS. The problem it addresses here is that the ball position is relative to the Connect IR optical frame. What we really need to know is the ball position relative to the A and C axis servo links. With TF, this is straightforward as it handles the transformations taken into consideration the link dimensions and joint angles. So once we've transformed the ball position to the target coordinate frames, it's just a matter of simple trigonometry to calculate the joint angles for the A and C axes. With the A and C axis angle calculated, we publish the joint angles to the respective joint position controllers and voila, we have object tracking. In conclusion, I hope that this dive into the robot operating system has been informative. If you enjoyed this video and wish to stay informed of upcoming related content, please like and subscribe.